What do you do when you find yourself falling out of love with an art medium? How can you switch mediums as quickly and gracefully as possible? This recently happened to me. As you might know, watercolor has been my medium ever since the start of this channel. I've made countless videos about it, I've taught classes in it, and overall just praised watercolor as my art BFF. But a few months ago, I had fallen so out of love with watercolor. I felt held back and kind of bored, and I was longing to learn oil painting instead. But I had very limited experience painting with oils, and the style of paintings I had before was not going to work in oils the same way it did in watercolor. So I would essentially have to start over, teach myself this new medium, and find a new style. In this video, I'll talk about how that went, and I'll give you my tips for switching art mediums and reinventing your style. What I say here is primarily aimed at more experienced and established artists. If you're a new or beginner artist and you want to teach yourself how to draw or paint on your own, I have a free email course for you. I call it DYI Art School because it's the method and the steps that I've used as a self-taught artist to learn art without going to art school, and without going insane with overwhelm and frustration. I'm sharing exactly how I did it in this 10-day email series, and you can sign up for it for free via the link in the description. So, when I decided to essentially abandon watercolor for oils, I faced a few problems. Number one, how could I teach myself oil painting as efficiently as possible without wasting time on things that wouldn't be relevant to me? Number two, how could I find a new style in this medium as quickly as possible? And yes, I know, I am impatient. I didn't want to fumble around aimlessly for a year the way I did when I first started out. I wanted to aim directly for the type of paintings that I knew I wanted to make. And number three, what would my audience say about my switch? And how would I transition my branding and website and offerings to incorporate this new style? I decided that I would learn oil painting by making one small painting a day for at least 30 days. This is a classic that you've probably already done yourself at some point or seen other artists do. The 30 day daily painting challenge. And that's because it works. It really is the best possible way to improve quickly, I think. Lots of small, quick paintings that we can learn from and move on. During these 30 days, I would forget all about style or producing good art. My only focus would be getting to know this new medium. Painting whatever I felt like in the moment and messing up a lot. No pressure at all. I might even discover that I didn't enjoy oil painting. And in that case, no harm done. I would just end the experiment and try another medium. In order to learn the most from my everyday painting, I would keep an art journal. I did this when I first started out as an artist. I kept a private art journal, which is what I would normally recommend to new artists. You shouldn't feel any pressure to publish your work while you're learning and exploring. But I have done this for a few years now, and I'm used to sharing both my successes and failures online. So I decided to do it in public in the form of a blog so that I could share my experience with others. Every day I posted a picture of that day's artwork, no matter how I felt about it, and I wrote about what went well and what went wrong and what I liked and didn't like about the painting and what I had learned from it that I would bring into my next painting. And if you want to read this journal, the link is in the description as well. Now I only got to day 17 of my oil painting journal because by that point I felt like I had gotten the hang of it. I had learned the basics, I knew this was my new medium of choice, I had already started to find a style and a method of painting that I liked, and I felt ready to move on and to paint bigger things. I believe this process was a bit faster for me for two reasons. I already had some experience as an artist. I was pretty confident in my sketching ability, for example. Drawing an accurate sketch or a block-in is the foundation of a good painting, and I had already done the hard work of learning that skill as a watercolorist. And I already had a basic understanding of things like color mixing and value and composition and other basic art concepts. I also had a very clear goal style in mind, because I'd been 
following oil painters for years and gathering inspo on Pinterest. I knew the look and feel that I was aiming for in my own work. I knew my favorite subjects would likely remain the same. As you might know, I mostly paint birds and animals. All I had to do was learn the technique of oil painting and to practice as much as possible. For someone with less experience, this process will take longer by necessity. There will be more exploration involved, more failed paintings. There's no way around that, especially if you're not sure what you're aiming for or what mediums you want to try and what subjects you're drawn to. If you're a beginner, I can't stress this enough, do not rush this process. Take your time learning the basics, exploring different subjects and mediums, and getting clear on where you want to go as an artist. And I walk you through all the steps to do this in DYI Art School. If you are already proficient in another medium, a lot of your skills and experience will translate into a new art medium, because most concepts, like sketching ability and color theory, are universal. You're just going to have to learn to apply them in a new way. How did I learn to work with oil paints? I watched tutorials on YouTube. It's as simple as that. YouTube is the best resource for self-taught artists, in my opinion. After my 17 days of daily painting, I had a bunch of paintings, and some of them I really liked. So the next thing on my to-do list was to incorporate oil painting into my brand as an artist, meaning I wanted my website and online presence to reflect that I was now also painting with oils. So I had a little photo shoot with myself in my studio with my new oil paintings. I took photos of myself painting and I took photos of my artwork in various settings. And then I updated my website with the new photos. I added my oil paintings to the gallery and shop and I added a bit of text to my about page. And that's it. I was now officially an oil painter. I wasn't really worried about what my audience would think because, well, I'm not famous enough for my audience to gasp at me switching art mediums. Most of the people who follow me know full well that I am all over the place and constantly trying new things. And frankly, I believe most people just think it's fun and exciting when their favorite artists try new things. It's just we, the artists, who get all angsty about it. I'm not trying to please a particular market with my art. I couldn't work that way. Besides, how can you know what will really resonate with people. You can't. And maybe you haven't even found that thing yet. So the best thing, I believe, is to just do what you love and leave the rest up to the universe or God or blind luck or whatever you believe in. Or what do you think? Have you ever switched art mediums? Or do you work in several different mediums? Tell me about it in the comments. As always, I am grateful you've spent this time with me and we'll see each other in the next video.